All right, today we're going to talk about the sum of the angle measures of triangles and quadrilaterals. And there's just some rules you have to memorize. I'm going to explain the why. If the why is confusing, then just memorize the rules. It's not too hard. Okay, so let's review really quickly. Remember um, yesterday we were talking about transversals and we found out there were interior angles and there were exterior angles. So like these in here are interior and these out here are exterior. Well, we have the same thing. Here's a quadrilateral. We have the same thing with a quadrilateral. Um, Angle 2 is an exterior angle because it's on the outside, and angle 1 is an interior angle because it's on the inside. Now, if this imaginary line, or if this line isn't there, you just have to imagine that it's there. And another review is these angles are supplementary because the sum of their measure equals 180 degrees. There's a straight line that's formed here, and the measure of that line is 180 degrees. So all of this is review for you. Okay, so here's our new concept. Um, remember that a full turn measures 360 degrees. This was from lesson 90. So here we have examples of three turns going on in, on the outside of this triangle. There's one, two, and three turns. So the sum of all these turns equals 360 degrees. Okay, so a triangle has three exterior angles. So 360 degrees divided by three is 120 degrees. So basically, the average exterior angle of a triangle measures 120 degrees. So if the average exterior angle measures 120 degrees, the average interior angle will measure 60 degrees. And remember, that's because they're supplementary angles. 120 plus 60 equals 180. Okay, so here's our rule that you have to memorize. The sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So here we have angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3, and they all are going to equal 180 degrees, no matter what kind of a triangle it is. Alright, so that's the rule that you need to memorize. Let's move on to the next one. Now we have our example of a quadrilateral. Same thing as a triangle, except for now we have four exterior angles, quad. So, the sum of angles 1, 2, 3, and 4, you can think of it as four turns, is going to equal 360 degrees. So, 360 degrees divided by 4 is 90 degrees. So, the average exterior angle of a quadrilateral, oops, made my degree sign first, is 90 degrees. So if the average exterior angle is 90, then the average interior must measure 90 because they're supplementary and they have to equal 180 degrees. Okay? Now here's the rule. The sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral must equal 360 degrees. So remember, if the Y confuses you, memorize the rules. So here are some examples. I have an example of a triangle. So the measure of angle X, which is this unknown right now, plus 90 plus 30 has to equal 180. 90 plus 30 is 120, so 180 minus 120 equals 60. So the measure of angle X is 60 degrees, okay? Same thing for this quadrilateral, except for now, the rule is the interior angles need to add up to 360. So the measure of angle Y, which is this unknown, plus 120 plus 120 plus 60 equals 360. So 360 minus 300 is 60, so the measure of angle Y equals 
60. All right, so that's all for today. Hope you have a great day.